So these guys are going to write down what they want, their statement, uh, what their goal is essentially for this. They're going to generate uh, a number of points, basically the argument's hit points. Okay. And then they're going to choose actions, uh, one of these actions here, um, to try to protect their own argument while dismantling the other guy's argument. Into yourselves and the sword. Don't forget that one. <laughs> 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 to us. And I will lead you out. Oops, that's a lot of those. Uh, lead us safely and quickly to the surface, and we will keep the sword. <coughs> all right, so roll your... Uh, so so you, are, you, you guys all helped each other. We all we set up the dual yeah. wits. Great. Okay. Body of argument. So, so now... Mm. Uh, so you, go, you roll... For, hold on, Wilhelm. You okay. roll first. So you're rolling to see how much your argument is worth. So your argument is worth uh, one plus, plus your will. Something. Yeah, yeah, plus your will. All right. So you're so you add one to the base will of four uh, for a total of five. Yeah, that's respectable. All right. Now over here, since you don't have the skill, mm -hmm. uh, you got his help. You're going to roll your seven dice with your because you're cheating well, elven will. <laughs> well, I have, I have, I, have a, I have a will of six. Right. Which is my base. Oh, and perception is or sorry, persuasion is based out of will. For some reason, yeah. I'm doing perception. Yeah. So I have six dice plus halved plus six. Is that correct? No, 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 no. You're going to roll six dice. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus his help. Oh, plus his help. Yeah. Plus his help. Right. And your two successes equals one point to your oh, right. argument. That's that's where we're going here. And my help isn't special. It's no, it just the right in half as well. Yep. Yeah. Okay. God oh, damn. Oh, my lord. <laughs> so I get That's two there. That's a lot. And then I get to add that to my will. <laughs> so you have a total of eight. Eight, yep. <laughs> well, okay. It's actually not. It's it could have been worse. It could have been, been worse. So what did you come out with? You came up with five? That's not bad. The, the problem is he, <clears throat> also that he's pretty much with his six will immune to your intimidation attack. Mm -hmm. um, That's my he, best move too. And he's because he has uh, six, and you already you already, you used already your trackles, yeah. So yeah. Which you can use once per session. So yeah. you're going to have to win by cunning. All right, now, so choose your actions let's real quick. Do that. I was going to say we were yeah. just. You guys can confabulate. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, we reveal the uh, the actions one by one, vo volley by volley. Uh, so uh, what's your first action? Point. And yours? Point. Okay. So in this case, the actions are independent of one another. They were not going to. They're not going to contest one another. Okay. Uh, you're, you're both going to savage each other's Ooh. arguments. Um, so it, uh, in the case of similar actions, um, the eldest character speaks first. So that would be the yeah, elf. By, by <laughs> line. Hmm. Uh, so what, what's the elf's age? Just just for the TV audience at home. Uh, 130. 130. How, how old's the rat? 20. <laughs> All right. The elf speaks first. All right, uh, Fidian steps forward and uh, looks directly in the rat's eyes and says, you may <laughs> bluster all you like, but uh, should, it come, should it come that uh, we have no more use for you, we at least have a chance. You will be dead. Uh, he tries to look unimpressed by your threat and says that... Uh, only one who did not know the ways of the darkness below would make such a claim. I would take a hundred blows from a dwarven blade before I would dare try to navigate these tunnels in the dark. You're a fool if you think that you can escape this place without my help. His prophet's gonna, he's gonna sell us out to his prophet. He has a lot of Kills. brothers. <laughs> Master Dwarf, will it take a hundred blows from your blade to uh, <laughs> kill him? Do. Then I take the easier bargain. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and you chimed in with... Uh, he has a lot of brothers. Yeah. I got back up. Yeah. Lots of brothers. All right, so great. So gather yon dice. So uh, you have your two persuasion. Uh, yeah. You have Andy's help. Yes. And did you... I am below wise. And below wise, right. So you okay. brought in Ooh. your uh, your below wise. Indeed. Right, you are you rolling have seven a lot dice, of dice, but, uh, but, but have 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 my successes. <coughs> Kazow, mm. two two successes for me. Uh, two successes for me. So the those successes relate directly to how many um, points you lose in your body of argument. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Correct. So right, so his two knock you guys down to three. Your two knock him down to six. Six. Oh yes. goodie. So now, so but again, what that means good. right now is that there's. Uh, compromise on the table on both sides. No matter who wins, there's going to be a minor compromise. Okay. So w now you want to try to deepen that, hopefully. Um, all right, volley two. Uh, what do you got? Point. 
Faint. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and it's over. <laughs> so, yeah, you get to make your point uncontested. Does he say the point first, or do I say the faint first? You, uh, you, you can, if you want to stutter into a faint, uh, okay. go right ahead. That might help him. You can open up with something that you're about to snatch away and we ignore it. Uh, so I was going to bring up um, the fact that uh, you and the dwarf are not as unified a team as you might think, and uh, this whole we business is very nebulous. You, you are young. <laughs> <laughs> we are born of the stars and of stone. We will have many years to discuss our differences. <laughs> Should you choose wrongly, you will have but a few short moments. <laughs> Yet, nice. It is. Uh, it is. It is not. Uh, it is. It is not all uh, darkness for you. The generosity of the elven folk can be large. We could. We could name you friend. It would, it would uh, you, you could you could travel in in the uh, in the light places instead of among these dark stones where your prophet calls your every move. Do you join us? We will pay you, and you can hang in the visit the halls of the dwarves. Much drier than these. Not a fan of muck tubes, huh? All right, so. Seven dice. He needs six successes to knock you guys out. Well, we start with two. It starts with two, but there are two sixes. But there are two sixes. <laughs> but there are two sixes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you just currently got him off by one. Mm -hmm. So you're debating spending a fate point. I am debating spending a fate point. Um, Live dangerously. What's the worst that can yes, happen? Yes, I, I think I think this is, a, this is a, a time to do that. So I will spend that fate point. Oh, comes Eight, up empty. No, fate points have been two. unkind yes. for you guys tonight. Okay, so uh, that comes out to a net one loss okay. uh, yep. off your disposal. So you guys are down from three to two, okay. and you're still in the game. Yes, indeed. Boom, boom. Still in the game. So uh, volley three. Point. Whoa, Dis savage. Dismiss. Dun, dun, dun. Yep. All right. Um, I. I saw you cringe when your brothers entered the room. You, you talk of the support that they will give you, but by your, by your own words you are condemned. You called yourself valueless, and I think you are valueless to them. But you are not valueless to us. We will treat you fairly. Robard, do you think these animals will give you any leave once, we're, once they've taken the sword from us? <coughs> You may be born of stars and stone, but we are born of muck and tubes. <laughs> <laughs> this is our domain. You are a fool to even enter into this argument. You can hear my nest skittering around you in the dark. You are outnumbered below the earth, carrying a piece of junk, which is probably not worth a thing, except to our prophet, who values it highly. You have all the time to discuss your differences, but he will never give you the sword. And, ooh, nice. 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 Help on his glorious <laughs> visions uh, may contain truths of of your kind as well. Would you deny uh, such access to wisdom? Yes. You you're fools. You will pay with your lives for nothing. A trinket. We're basing this off of his intimidation now. Oh yes, Woo. intimidation. Right, you're fools. You'll pay with your lives. Yep. Right, yeah. that's yep. intimidation. It's not worth it. Uh. Uh, I am. And, and I am threw in yes. persuasion. Nice uh, move, thank you. The, uh, oh, by the way, you're, <laughs> look at the crazy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to the crazy forgot. eyes. And then you, I, I thought I heard I some am. fields of related knowledge in there. Indeed, uh, I am below wise. Yes, you mm -hmm. are. Uh, I think I played junk wise actually. Oh, oh, because yeah. worthless junk. Oh, I'll oh, take it. Bam. I'll take it. it. Sounds good. And then take uh, your appraisal. One or the other. Oh, no. one or the other. Okay, fine. Yep, yep. Appraisal. That's cool. I was kind of angling for doctrine, but I don't know if I got there. What? How did you feel about the, the mysteries to... of doctrine? He, I, I heard it. Yeah. No, it wasn't enough, was it? It was kind of, kind of weak. Kind of weak. It felt a little weak. I mean, you got a pile of dice. Yeah, no, it's yeah. cool. It's cool. Yeah. I was trying to hit everything. <laughs> All of the same. All right. That Ooh. looks good. I like that. Uh, one short. 
The that's, story of the night. That is five successes oh, over here. You're, you're out of fate. Okay, so we have five successes over here. I can't zero you on out. On the, the big dismiss, we have five successes, so that knocks him down to from one. Six to one. Oh, wow. Uh, and okay. then over here, we have his. He's. He oh, gets a net of one. It's knocking me knocking down to one. Two to one. So now. So I missed by one. Uh, you're, they're both down to uh, one point each. We go <laughs> into the next round, the next exchange, knowing that. Uh, that you're di that and one he hesitates for the first action. That not only will one point oh, knock crap. you out, but yeah, since the, the, the penalty for the dismiss, the di dismiss gets you two bonus dice. Uh, but uh, if you fail to not to win with a dismiss, you have to hesitate for your next action. Never doubt the powers of bad luck. So be sure to choose your last two actions, <laughs> just in case. Yeah. Okay. So uh, volley one. Uh, you guys are hesitating, being like, "Come on." And uh, volley two, uh, volley one rather, on, on your side, your action, not volley two, and volley one, your action is? Uh, I step in close and... Dismiss. Put, yeah, dismiss. I step in close, <laughs> put my sword right to his throat, and uh, say, um, the time of your decision is upon you, rat. Lead us to safety, and you will be well treated, or perish among these tunnels you love so well. You claim to love so <laughs> oh, well. Nice. So you get eight dice. You get okay. uh, your six base plus the two bonus from dismiss, yep. uh, and you need uh, two successes. Two successes. Yeah. Come on, one. You can do it. Done before I can. You have done it before. Ding. Oh, oh just exactly. Two. Just it. what we need. Okay. Nicely done, elf. You Nicely did get done. a major compromise out of us. Sword, so. sword at throat. Elf menacing. Um, it's, it's kind of a great moment to think of uh, of the dismiss, right? The, the dwarf being like, uh, but not really helping too much. And, <laughs> right. and you two kind of considering your options. Now, so you know they have a weak case, right? Uh -huh. I mean, you've undermined yeah. Their, yeah. their point pretty thoroughly. I think what we've both said has been relatively true. Sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. So in this case, so they reduce you down mm. to, uh, to all but one point. So that is the most major of compromises. Mm. Uh, this has got to be painful. Just to just to yeah. check our uh, yeah. stakes here, right? So s surrender yourselves uh, yeah, to us, right. and I will lead you out. So all right. So oh, surrender to us and the sword, right? So you guys get to keep the sword as long as you carry it. Yeah. Right. Uh, and you have to make a detour. Yes, mm -hmm. and, and we're not we're not asking them to surrender to us and hand over the weapons or anything. They right. can they can keep all that. Right. Okay. Just and, what, and what did you win though? What, you you did win. We, we did. We did win, and it's lead us safely and quickly to the surface. And we will keep the sword. So then you're honor bound, or you're, 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 yeah. you're oath sworn to actually lead him out of the nest. Yeah. Okay, so so that's the compromise. Okay. There it is. Yeah. Okay, okay? It, All right. it, it's law. So, but now the, the dwarf is like white knuckled holding the sword. He, you mm. know, he's got the crazy eyes in his hand. Uh, right, veins. <laughs> veins. <laughs> <laughs> going up under a knife, underneath his nice hat. Um, it is nice. So, it's armor. Uh, so, Colin, it, this is actually up to you here and how you're going to play this out. You're, rules wise, you're obligated to hand over the sword. I hand it, or I, I hold it out to the elf. And I say, but this is mine when they're done with it. <laughs> I acknowledge your clan had uh, possession of this sword. And then I kind of off. And so you. you uh, Lead them to the nest. All right. I'm trying not to look cheerful. Yeah. But one thing. But one as thing. As soon as I have my hands on the sword, mm -hmm. um, I wish to take a much closer look at uh, these runes, um, for I have Elven artifact wise. Oh. I wish to settle in my <laughs> own <laughs> mind this question as to look at the tang. That's the. Yeah. <laughs> that's the good. <laughs> thing. All right. So a wise is a special skill, special knowledge skill in Burning Wheel. These are these are traits. That's why the wise is not there. I'm looking for it. Um, so right, so you have like tomb wise, I think, in my character. I do. And so uh, they're kind of esoteric knowledge. So you know a lot about tombs. He knows a lot about Eleanor artifacts, uh, and and he is calling on. So what are you looking for? Um, uh, well, the the Sorry. original test, um, uh, the rat's appraisal called into question the authenticity of the sword. Mm -hmm. um, I am looking. Essentially, I, I I have a I have a strong 
you know, I have a very specific belief about this sword that it was made by my father. Mm -hmm. um, I, so, so you're looking for his mark on yeah, it? Yeah, looking for his mark. Great. I think that's exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, so that would be an interesting fact, an obtuse okay. test okay. Uh, of Elven artifact wise. <clears throat> see what the dice say. The dice say yes. They say yes. So you, you take a look at the sword and you. Uh, you pull the screw and and, mm -hmm. and pull the uh, you know the ivory mm -hmm. handle apart just very gingerly. Mm -hmm. You know, when you take a moment looking to, to see yeah. where the smith's stamp would be, and it is a dwarven mark in there. However, the handwriting on the fuller, uh, the the, the mm -hmm. elven runes are, are uh, in your father's hand. Okay, it is uh, like you recognize your father's hand, and, and and then you even you know you see his rune. It's on the you know on the invert. Of the fuller, uh, it's two different phrases on either side of the blade, and then, uh, and the the phrases are about uh, friendship, union, mm -hmm. uh, brotherhood, stuff like that. <laughs> cool. Uh, but so yeah. your father clearly yeah. had a hand in this sword. Okay, it, it is without a doubt. But there, but the actual maker's mark on the tang mm -hmm. is uh, is a dwarven mark. Uh, actually, I, I will look at it and I'll I'll screw it back down and uh, uh, I will. Uh, Brechtans, your. Uh, your your uh, words words bear greater weight than I knew. This is dwarven forged, although my father inscribed the runes. Mm. We both have a stake in this, mm. and your claim is a strong one. Mm. Well, let us go see this prophet of yours and see what what uh, wisdom he possesses. So, uh, since introduces you to his uh, clanmates in um, they, they live in old vaulted ceiling cellars and um, and uh, tunnels uh, sewer tunnels that have been lifted up by um, heavings of the earth so they're dry and and um, but full of wreck and just all manner of, uh, of detritus that they have pulled from various uh, cultures, various eras, various ages, and uh, there are dozens of scissors down here scurrying to and fro. So the, the main vaulted chamber, um, uh, there's a, a high-backed chair from some lost, forgotten temple on, uh, in, in which sits, dwarfed by its, <coughs> its height, sits the, the visionary. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, he, um, so he, he welcomes you. He he, uh, he praises his his emissary, his messenger, Sis. Ooh, and, really, um, I enjoy that. And he crawls down off, off the chair and comes and inspects the blade personally with his old roomy eyes. Um, and as he comes forward, you get a buzz of power from him. He clearly is possessed of some, you know, some vortex of unpredictability. Uh, he, uh, it, it, but um, you, you also get the sense that it comes more from uh, the activity of his people rather than uh, perhaps, you know, from his mm -hmm. own nature. And, and he, he kind of capers about and has, has this devious look in his eyes. Um, and he offers you, he's, oh, welcome heroes and friends and travelers. It's so rare that we have heroes. visitors. <laughs> yes, yes, come sit and banquet with us. <laughs> um, and uh, so he has a little rat banquet for you, which is full of cast off food. And uh, I go over to my little stash and I start bringing stuff to, for Robar to check out, you know, like, oh, look, at, I look, at, look at this. Look well, I'll praise these appreciatively. <laughs> Quite enthused. Yeah. Perhaps yeah. offer to bar to you for something exciting. So while uh, while you're at your stash, while you're you're being okay. feted, um, has <coughs> has kind of pulls you to a side. Mm -hmm. Well done. <laughs> I, I sort of you know put my head down and don't. They don't know that they will be the feast. <laughs> yes, yes. That's 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 kind of news to me, but I just sort of go along with it. Yeah, and so he hands you a, like a really terrible facsimile of the sword. Yes, yes, master. Just in case. Say, say the word, and I will serve you however, however I can. Make the switch. <laughs> yes, the switch. <laughs> <laughs> once, once you've made the switch, then we will fall on them. 
It's too dangerous to fall on him while he has that sword. We don't know what it does. Of course you were wise. The visionary has seen much slaughter. <laughs> Good. Uh, th this one is our friend. He will help us in this. Yes, yes he will. To my utmost. <laughs> yes, this one has been well paid in advance. With a lantern. A line of credit, in fact, extended on this mm. one's life. Borrowed time. <laughs> Seems one is always in debt. So, you have you have your new mission. Yeah. Yep. Take the crappy forgery. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a really obvious <laughs> forgery. Please tell me it's like as in like, like he, he ran back ahead of you to right. the nest and like they Gave wrapped a vague it, description of yeah, it. Yeah, it wrapped it in tin foil. <laughs> It's a Bubble sword, gun. you know, it's really pointy is. on this end. And right. Right. There's a big ruby in it. <laughs> no ruby. And the elf, uh, what's the current disposition of the sword? Are you walking around with it in your hand? Like, um, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I like uh, Yeah, so would. yeah, I, I sit down at the banquet table and, you know, Right between the, <laughs> right. <laughs> between the legs. Between your legs. H uh, how's the dwarf dealing? What's, what's going on there? Um... I, I fully expect something terrible to go down. So uh, I can't you, imagine you, why. You do happen to notice that you you know you're seated mm. at this little banquet table. It's just it's you like us, you because. four, and then everyone else is kind of seated behind you mm. at another banquet table. At another banquet table <laughs> each, with their swords. Each no, each holding just kind of a, a rusted, broken implement, yeah. and then you know a oh, knife no. or spoon. Um, and the and the visionary is sitting in his high back chair, <laughs> just kind of intently watching. Eat, mm. eat. The the board you have spread for us is uh, is is exceptional, Lord of Lord Lord of, Lord of the Underworld. Um, <laughs> but tell me, your emissary spoke of a ritual that you wish to perform with this sword. Can uh, can you describe uh, what what it is that you hope to achieve? You you, you <laughs> see some visions swirling in his head, and he says, "No, it it is profane. It is profane to speak of the vision." <laughs> I see. Well, you must understand this. The sword is forged by... Oh, I understand! What is it you understand? That it is forged. Uh, everyone said you hear chittering behind you. It is forged! Yes. It is forged! It's forged, forged. Perhaps a display, a display of its forgedness. <laughs> Perhaps a song from the elf. Indeed. I, how, how else can I, can I honor uh, such, a, such a gracious host? Maybe the elf will play his flute. The elf will do that. Awesome. My dwarf. <laughs> May I take yeah. the sword? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm with you. I'm with you. He's handed me the sword. I'm, I'm, I'm under the table. I'm, make, I'm gonna make my move. Okay. So, like right, he, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Is, that, is, that, is, is it possible? Yeah. Is it possible? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. I, yeah. Uh, it's, so it's, it's all. It's all in question. <laughs> you're, yeah. It's all in question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm so scurrying that's you, through the muck with. So you're gonna a try very and, bad forgery. <laughs> So, so wait, you're going to try to pass the forgery into the... Um, that's, that's the plan. <laughs> and and uh, I guess then, are you going to grab the sword? Uh, I think that's going to have to be the way of it. So right, so <laughs> you, you, hand, you gotta hand, yeah. hand the dwarf the sword as you pull your flute uh, out, yeah. and the, the rat's going to try to yeah. insert the forgery. <laughs> into I have no skills in that whatsoever. So. <laughs> it's going to be sleight of hand test. Oh, sleight of hand, right. Uh, Which I don't have. And same thing, and for you sure. to, to remove the sword, it's, bo it's both sleight of hand. So oh, goody. So this is gonna go great. It's, yeah, yeah, at least you're yeah. stealthy. Yes. Um, okay. Sure. You're. You guys are <laughs> hiding under the banquet <laughs> table. Um, Dude, half the party went missing. We don't notice them. Whoop. <laughs> They're gone. They don't come. Yeah. They went away from the. And, and it was just you two put on display. Yeah. Oh, we were okay. Like the, the, his, his they had gone. They had gone They're away. They were inspecting my treasures. Okay. <laughs> you really don't need to worry. This is not gonna work. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm gonna uh, stick with. I'm gonna stick by my guns here. Yeah. Um, so you're going to test your perception okay. versus your agility. Okay. And since they're both unskilled, you yeah. don't have observation, she doesn't have sleight of hand. Okay. Same thing over here. Perception versus agility on both sides. I got three. Big green sucky dice get two uh, successes. We'll get five there. and five. We'll get there. I'm going to use eight days? to open my six. D oh, two, um, two to two. two. Okay. okay. <clears throat> and uh, hold on there. Okay, go. I'm oh. down by one right now, so I'm failing. Failing. Uh, I, I'm gonna. So so here you go. You. Um, yep. You're fooled. You're you're, right. you're flat fooled. You you know you you pull out your flute, hand up sword, um, 
and you realize what's happened. You, you okay. know, you see, you see the sword disappear underneath the table. Okay. Um, you're, uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're not fooled. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're, you know, you get, you know, halfway uh -huh. through the action there, and you, you see him like grinning like a fool over the, you know, this right. big, hey, you know, this big paste uh -huh. ruby or something. Uh, <laughs> ah. So. Yeah. So your your hand is not on the sword right now. It's like, you know, you've got it by the blade, right. pulling it under. Uh, what do you do? I'm going to just carry through and uh, play my song. Oh! <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so uh, what are you going to do now that your hands are on the precious blade? Oh, I didn't think that far. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to think on thine feet or thy knees, I suppose. Oh, quite so. Under the table. We're down on, under the table together, right? Yes. So hold on. Let, so this is your moment. I don't yeah, know which way is out. That's, that's okay, too. No one knows which way is out. <laughs> you have to help me pay off my debts. I do. Everybody does. Okay. <laughs> Go ask. Who, what? Your annoying brother in arms. Ask who? Go tell him he got it. Let's see what happens. I need to be able to leave, and I have oh, to pay some debts yes, off. Yes, yes, yes. All of those things. No dying for me. Hopefully not for you. Yes, f f Robard, yes, you, my friend. How scary off to has. And you're hiding still? You're just clinging, hiding? You've got it. I've got it. <laughs> you don't know how to use it. No. Um, I really would just like to leave and not die. You're going to take your seat at the table? hey -o. That seems entirely inappropriate and right. Okay, sure. That's <laughs> how we do. So you just kind of emerge and sidle down. You're actually pretty good at this stuff. Yeah. You're, pretty, you're actually very good at not being noticed doing dumb things. Um, Thankfully. All right. So, Willem, it's, mm -hmm. we're back to you. So, uh, you're... I, I suppose you're basing this off of Song of Songs again? So yeah, Song of Songs uh, plus the Song of Merriment. So yeah, four dice. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sing, does that...? No, that, that's, that's when you decide to turn off the nonsense. Okay, and, yeah, and yeah that's what like I thought, but I just wanted to... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Ob 2, I ob, believe, is what we have determined. Ob 2, yep. Yes, all right, so let's see if it works any better. Yeah, this is our chance to get back and get a drop here, so... Persona, there it is. And we have one, two, three successes. So that's and it's open-ended. Six it open automatically right. explodes. Magic. That is right. So oh. four successes. Oh. So okay. plus two up on the hesitation. They must what make steel happens? tests. Yeah. So you are going to roll your steel of three. What's your steel? Seven. Oh, so goody. You're pretty tough, but yeah. your will is crap, right? So sure. you're, uh, you also have to test. Yep. Uh, every, everyone has to test, but... Uh, even the rats um, would have to test. Um, so you have to roll your steel three, and you have to get six successes. Oh, goody! Yeah, sorry. It is hard. Six. But it is open ended. Six is automatically explode. That's two with one six, so leave the six so I can. Count. I am wondered. All right, so two. Uh, Damn. So now it's a, this becomes a, three, four. A, a margin of failure. Uh, with two okay. Very nice. Five. Five. We need one more to six. not hesitate. Uh, or would you hesitate to six? Uh, seven. It says wait. six slash seven. Oh, se yeah. So, so remember, plus skittish. two on your hesitation because of... Oh, I, have, I have a thing, yeah. Oh, no, you, skittish doesn't come into play here for one oh, minute. Okay. But, so it's six, so it's eight. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. I can roll another six, probably. Yeah, he's, he's a fucking cheating elf. Ooh. Five. All right. So, Didn't do it. So six successes out of the necessary eight. So right. So for the steel test... Uh, Burning Wheel kind of takes the philosophy that everybody blinks. Uh, it's just how long do you blink for. Mm -hmm. um, so you are just caught up in the spell. Very good. Um, you, uh, you're, you also flunked. Oh, oh, I got one success. Yeah. Right. All right. So you guys are drooling away, uh, enjoying the, the final Merriment. <laughs> um, yep. That sounds good. And uh, you're just <laughs> almost through. Uh, Haas is... Uh, Haas is... You know, is looking at you intently, and then he just kind of turns away, <laughs> starts staring up at the the stars that are suddenly glittering from the ceiling. Um, the, the visionary is clapping along to the beats. Uh, so, you have the room wrapped. Okay. Um, you, 
you have a split second before y y you emerge. Uh, so is the sword? Who has the sword? She, she, <laughs> yeah. Lord still has the sword. Yeah, you, you, she failed that test against okay. you. So yeah. you quite obviously know that she has. Uh, he she has the sword. All right. <laughs> uh, so what do you do? Uh, I calmly step over to Robard, pick up the sword, go stand behind the visionary's chair and uh, hold the sword to the visionary's throat. <laughs> All right, so so you snap out of it by the time he has the sword. Yeah. You're, you're free and clear. Everybody else is still Yay! enraptured, right? <laughs> Thinking about the thinking about all your wonderful trinkets. Yeah. So what do you do? So he's got the sword and he's looking around. He, his eyes fall upon the visionary. Now right. you are oath sworn. Mm -hmm. I am to to but the duel of wits. The duel of wits lead, uh, lead results are still in effect. And the sword back out again yep. after the ritual. Yep. Safely. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and the, it seems that the ritual does not have our safety in, in <laughs> mind. Th yeah. Those are details that I wasn't privy to. Uh, hardly be held accountable for someone else's plans. For your it wasn't your vision. Oh. Well, I had the opportunity. I, I, I'll interfere. I'm not going to let you just go over and do it. Uh, so I guess I have to try to disarm you. Oh, so you, really? You're going you're gonna to leap at him? Oh. Yeah. Yep. Before he gets to the visionary? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. How does that? Uh, how does that jive with the um, leaving, leaving them out in safety with the sword? Well, I'm not trying to hurt him, but it looks like he's gonna hold the visionary at sword point. Mm-hmm. Okay. Maybe you can make him a better offer. Maybe. Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> That's a good point. I might be pushing the safety thing if I attack him. Okay. All right. Wait. Yes. Speak quickly. Do, do not harm the visionary. He, we, we need him. <laughs> Stay your hand, Elf. We, we, will you lead us from this place? No, I will lead you now. Come with me quickly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hard sell. Excellent. Uh, uh, I have to lead the dwarf too, though, don't I? Yep. I'm bound to do that too. Crap. You're still wild-eyed and married. I can just gra grab you and drag yeah, you. Yeah, I, I, if, if, if you start to lead me, I was going to do the same thing. I was just going to grab him and... <laughs> so you guys yeah. e okay. each take him yeah. and you abandon Robart? Ah. Yeah. Excellent. I, I'm not really abandoning him. <laughs> like, he seems cool and... <laughs> right, like, I'm super excited. I fit in. He has right? some sort of relationship with Haas. They seem like they're friendly. <laughs> right? They're bros. <laughs> I mean... I don't, All right, yeah. so then... Uh, Very good. Why don't you two uh, make a, uh, a speed test? All right. To, uh, get out so of here before the spell wears yep, off. To, to grab him, not you, not oh, Colin, they're, they're, right. they're okay. calling you, uh, to grab him and, and hoof it out of here before the spell wears off. I hope he is aware I'm saving his life. So, uh, I'm going to be in big trouble. You, you can uh, make this together with uh, some one helping the other. Uh, okay. If you so uh, I, will, I will lead. Uh, yeah, I'm you're probably super. Hustling. Ready to go. Uh, yes. Ready to go, race I am speed five. That so that's two, two dice. Two dice. Yes. All right. Um, on three to get out of here right. before the spell wears off. Happy, happy dice. One, boom, two, boom, three, boom. four, five. So you snap wow. out of it, and you find yourself alone in a room full of rats, giant rats <laughs> that talk with forks and spoons. <laughs> Goody. And no sword. I believe. <laughs> <laughs> you bolt? Uh, yeah, it's time to go. Okay. Uh, so you uh, uh, you have some stuff. Some uh, means to... to uh, oh, so, all right. So, right. You can try to hide, actually, or you can run. Uh, you can just flat out try to, like, hoof it and go, or you can try to uh, play cat and mouse with them. Ooh, let's, let's pretend we can be <laughs> sneaky to start, as hapless as that is. Okay, sounds That's, good. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so you're going to roll your stealthy versus Very your good. pursuer's observation, which they do have. Of inevitably. Okay. Um, so, and you are not in a tomb. So, Glass. Right. And I have no new spoon, but, mm. but three. Successes. All right. I get two, you get three, and you manage to elude your captors before they can cook you for dinner. Oh, good. Uh, as, as you bolt. Done. And uh, 
So you three rapidly find yourselves um, at a, uh, yeah, you, as you snap out of it, uh, at a uh, crumbling staircase that emerges into uh, the blue light of morning. <sighs> Sense of the outer world. And you have fulfilled your bargain. I will never work with treacherous elves and dwarves again. Turning on helpless visionaries when they're ensorcelled. <laughs> <laughs> you have no honor. You, you, you keep your wretched blade. We, we agreed to pay you, and pay you we shall. Yeah, keep your coin. All right. So he's still gripping tightly to the uh, to the fake to the fake sword. <laughs> 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 like I finally realize. <laughs> we get outside, the gem falls off. <laughs> Droops. <laughs> Just Give Iris, me that. Iris out on the dwarf. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so we leave our adventurers here. Uh, Sis rejecting payment. Um, I'm a true believer now. Fithian and, and Brechtons hand in hand walking out into the daylight. And poor Robard, <laughs> lost in the dark, alone, but safe for the moment. <laughs> um, perhaps a new inductee for the cult. <laughs> but uh, so there you go. Hooray. Excellent. Once again, elf wins. <laughs> so let's do rewards. So yep. let's look at your beliefs. Okay. Uh, so we'll start over there with the young winner. So uh, read off your okay. beliefs. Uh, my first belief is this sword was made by my father. Using its markings, I will demonstrate its origin to my companions so they cannot dispute its ownership. Did None. That. Nice. Uh, so that when, when you accomplish a belief like that, when you clearly wrap up a belief, that's a persona point. Uh, so uh, that's how you earn those points. Um, so one persona point for you. Keep going. Okay. I must return this so lost sword to my father so that he will forgive me and allow me to return from my exile. Uh, we didn't quite get there. On yep. the, uh, you know, uh, you, you, I think that would be probably the next session. Mm -hmm. uh, but you did work towards that. That's true. That. Uh, did you, I mean, did you ever, I mean, did you bring up your dad? I mean, you brought, I, I brought it up. Marking? Yeah, I brought that up, but no, I, I, think, I think that was not something that I really, really talked about or, or mm -hmm. right. okay. demonstrated in any way. Yeah. True friends and companions are a great treasure, and I will not let mine come to harm. I dare say he played it. I do believe so. Yeah, I was I was trying to keep yeah. the group together, and not there was a lot of threatening yeah. to kill the rat, yeah. but uh, <laughs> he didn't actually. It was more of a you know, hired help. So that's, right. that's, that's a fate point and a persona point then. Okay, uh, nicely done. Um, the sword was a treasure of my clan for generations, stolen by foul Rodin, and abandoned here. All restored to its rightful place among my people. You definitely tried. You definitely took your best shot at it. So that's a fate point when you try. Right. Uh, what else? Uh, words may be eaten, but blood is forever once spilled. Better a heated exchange than an exchange of blows. Yeah, you restrained yeah. yourself. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. You a bunch. Yeah, a bunch. You did. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, you could have escalated to violence uh, many, many times. times. My <laughs> companions and I have seen much hardship together. I'll get them home safely. Except for that part where the wonderment kicked in. And yeah. kind of lost it. Um, and my oath is... My uncle Dovlin is proud but destitute. I will do anything to restore his fortunes. Eh, not, not really. Um, so it looks like two fate points uh, over there. Yep. yep. Cool. I have to enter the fields of paradise. I must present my visionary with this fabled sword. <laughs> is that it? Uh, no, I have more. Okay. Oh, that, that's the entire belief. That, so, all right, well, you... I, I think I did that. You accomplished it. I, I get to enter the fields of paradise. That's, that's <laughs> Yay! Good. Uh, persona? Green. Yep. Uh, the prophet says, to conquer from weakness, divide the strong. I will encourage the interlopers to argue among themselves. I tried that at first with the dwarf and the elf, but I didn't really pursue it much after that. Well, I guess I mean, I, you yeah, got, during, you the, got during the... Robard uh, on your side. Robert's that's true. Robert. And during the uh, sure. Duel of Wits, I did it too, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so, point. so, yeah, fate. Uh, these squabbling mice, that's funny, hired me to lead them to their treasure. I will now collect what I am owed or else. Uh, you didn't go for that one. No, I decided not to... Pursue that belief. Uh, That's I, fair. I learned as I went that I actually did believe in the visionary. So, um, but you, so the, you have a fourth because you're special. Yeah, I, I have loyal. Physic, the visionary, will guide us to seize the field, fields of paradise from men, as prophesied. I will serve him to my dying breath. I think you. you I, th I think uh, I did. Served. You, oh, he well. he pushed you into the duel of wits to go to the nest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so at the very least, he played it. Yeah. I played it. Maybe I didn't yeah. resolve it, but uh. I mean, or, I mean, I guess you mold breaker for that one. 
at the, at the very end, he chose to go with the actual result of the Duel of Wits rather than, uh, than, than that belief. Yeah, I, I can see that. Okay. So, so in the case where you dramatically break a belief, where you make a big, meaningful decision about that, uh, you uh, get a reward. Okay. And Excellent. you get a persona point. Yeah, it's, not, it's not that we want you to play a belief a certain way. We just want you to... Challenge it. Yeah, challenge it. Right. All right. Andy. Master Kogan of the Gambling House is going to break my knees if I don't pay off my debts. I've got to get paid in this venture. Didn't get paid. You didn't get paid. You were actually, <laughs> I think you also broke that. You were very generous and magnanimous all around. Uh, you, yeah. You put them and, uh, oh, but yeah, at the very end, you said, wait, I have to get paid. He oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah, he did I finally go for it at the last stage. Sure. Uh, right, where you could have actually made a break for the, with the sword. I, yeah. So, all right. Alas, too late. So it's a choice. All right, so no, we'll take the fate point there. Okay. What? Uh, I was the one who figured out where this treasure was. It belongs to me. And I didn't, I, that didn't come up at all. No. So. Uh, that's all right. And, and then uh, the dwarf is not to be trusted. <laughs> his greed will be the doom of us all. If he makes a move, I'll have to push someone else into his path. So you definitely, definitely. sided yeah. uh, uh, with the rat there. Nice. Yep, that was good. So uh, two fate. Very Fantastic. Good. Uh, and then there, we would do MVP and workhorse uh, for this one. So you guys, so uh, the MVP is a player who made like a crucial test to kind of keep things moving, and the workhorse is somebody who helped labored behind the scenes uh, to. Um, well, uh, I certainly feel like I mean the rat was definitely the axis around which sure. everything resolved. So that feels like workhorse to me. Okay. Mm. Uh, and yeah. then I guess probably elf boy for uh, MVP for yeah. the. Um, the yeah. final test for the yeah. song. Yeah. song yeah. environment. That was yeah. great. That was a yeah. nice moment. That was, that was pretty crucial. It was going to get ugly yeah. fast. It was going to get abrupt. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So that would be persona points on both sides. Awesome. Right. Um, all right. So I walk Thanks. away with two persona and one feet. Nice. Cool. Thanks for playing. I hope you had a good time. Thanks yeah. for running. Thanks, Thanks for running. running. Thank you. Yeah. That was fun. All right. And thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>